Good afternoon YouTube, it's John again with another product review which I think you may all like. Um, many of us have um, premium Bibles uh, or family heirloom Bibles that may be good leather, bonded leather, goatskin leather, calfskin, um, but they're, they're precious to us and like any leather product it can, it can tend to dry out and um, you really want to keep your your leather like on like on this beautiful Skylar. You want to keep it supple and, and protected. You want to keep the oils and the sheens going. Um, so a lot of times the oils from your hands are is what helps to continue to condition your your Bible and keep it um, flexible. But over time, you will find like any um, leather bound book, um, and I'll use a example of my leather bound Lord of the Rings that they um, you want to keep them protected so let's say you've read it and you haven't read it in a while um, and you really want to keep it um, hydrated and well protected so there's a product that came out um, this thing's been out for years uh, it's called accessible preservatives it was really made for the um, rare book antique book um, industry to begin with and it was meant to um, prevent the leather book covers from drying out um, so they came up with this this product and uh, let's see here uh, protects preserves and polishes removes mildew and replaces original oils no flammable or volatile components for all leather except for suede uh, easy to apply, safe to use, quick results will not irritate the skin, produces a rich patina, and scuff-resistant surface buffers for lasting protection. Now, this book has been protected. I did put a coat on um, probably a year ago. I only do it really once a year um, to kind of keep books, um, you know, looking really good. But I also use it on um, Celeste Grade. This is my very first... Bible that I ever got um, way back in 1984 when I was uh, became a member of the Methodist Church. Um, I'm now more reformed in my um, church practice and uh, I'm not a Methodist any longer. Like I said, I'm more of a um, Presbyterian, um, reformed Presbyterian. So, uh, but this was my first Bible and this thing went with me everywhere. I, this is the first Bible I ever read through. This is the one I took camping with me. This is the one I um, threw in the car. It just, it went everywhere um, until I got older and had purchased some better Bibles. But this is a bonded leather cover. And I have been preserving this over the years. Um, you know, it's still, it hasn't cracked. It's, it's you know, bent around the book block um, from being shoved in bags and everything. But even with that, look. There is no real tearing or cracking. Um, and you can see that that bonded leather is really bent. Um, but let's face it, it hasn't ripped. Um, and I, I really um, attribute that to this product here. So what's in it? So let's well, let's get to the page with what's in it. So it contains Neats, Neats Foot Oil, Beeswax, and a Micro Wax. Um, you know, it's safe to use on all kinds of leather, books and belts, saddles, harnesses and tack, sports accessories, handbags. I've used it on many leather books and I have a pretty good book collection and I have quite a few leather books and I've used it for years, never, ever, ever had any damage. Um, so this is a product I recommend. It, uh, let me see if I can get this, <laughs> get this top off, there we go. So. It's a rather clear looking paste and uh, you take a dry, um, clean white um, cloth and you just put some on the cloth and you, you rub it into, into the book and to the cover. And then you let it sit. You let it sit for anywhere from 10 minutes to an hour depending on how dry the book was and how much um, penetration you're looking for. Um, and then after that 10 to one hour time frame you would go ahead and buff it off with a dry cloth doesn't matter what color it is and uh, it'll it'll keep the leather um, supple 
and feeling nice. It doesn't have a, a really nasty smell to it. It's got a pretty clean smell. Um, and once it, it's been applied and buffed, um, you can't smell it at all. Many of my books I smell and they still smell like leather. So it doesn't change how your books will smell for those of us that like to smell our leather books. Um, but it is a pretty cool product. Uh, it's about, uh, I think this was like $29.99. You can get it online. Let's see, here's his phone number. And then it is accessiblepreservatives.com. Um, and this stuff is really good. I, I may even have paid $19.99. It wasn't expensive, and this stuff goes a long, long ways. I've had this container now for probably, ooh, a year and a half. Um, and I have hardly um, dented the surface. So when you kind of look in there, you can kind of see roughly how much I've used. Um, I use it on, on boots. I use it on my books and my Bibles, um, really to keep them looking good, keep the leather from drying out. And um, it's something that I think you would really like. So uh, if you have any questions, please um, you know leave them down in the comments below. I'll see if I can answer them. Um, like I said, I've used this stuff on many different products and uh, leather book wise and never had a problem, never had discoloration, damage to the leather, didn't cause premature drying out. Um, all my books are in outstanding um, condition, all my leather books. And I've had this particular book for four or five years now and it still looks brand new. It's got a beautiful luster as you can kind of see. Um, and hasn't discolored at all. You know, it really is, is good. And I've used it on my other uh, books. Like I said, everything from my high-end high -end Bibles to my absolute low-end Bible. So, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, something I would recommend. So if you're interested, it's called Accessible Preservatives. You can buy it online. Again, the website is www.accessiblepreservatives.com. And um, give, it a, give it a try. It's really important for you that are buying a lot of these high-end Bibles to prevent them from drying out. Even though they're in a box um, and you think that they're protected, if you're not handling them regularly, um, they will dry out on you. And all of a sudden, you're going to go to open it up and you're like, oh, what, what happened? Um, leather will dry out. So you really do need to consider preserving it. And I would highly recommend this product. So uh, like I said, if you have any questions, um, Leave them down below and I'll see if I can answer them. And until next time, this is John and we will see you on the next video.